Hello everyone and welcome to my next session which is going to show the advantages of using VMware optimization on Blue Arc storage platform. So very very simply I'm going to log on to our Blue Arc Mercury EBC cluster here, it is a Mercury cluster and what I'm going to do is simply create a virtual server so let's actually create that now and what this is going to allow me to do is create a NFS export which we're going to attach to a data store um, on, so on a ESX server. So I'm just going to give this a name, EBS uh, VMware, and just for reference, I've given an IP address, 192.168.13.127, and my subnet mask, 255.255.255.0. Again, aggregated through here, and again, this is a two-node cluster, we can have up to eight nodes in the cluster, but we'll just stick it on, oh, let's just stick it on node two, just to keep it simple. So that's added there, really, really straightforward. And then the next thing I need to do is just basically give it a file system. So let's have a look for a file system. So let me create that under file systems. Again, here's some that's already listed. So I'm just going to create this. But again, it's a read-write file system because VMware needs to obviously write back to the data store. So we'll just pick off some default storage and I'll create a terabyte. Let's just do that, one terabyte. And we're, we can obviously have auto expansion, but I'll disable that. I'll grab the one terabyte up front. You don't have to, you can use obviously auto expansion as we go. And then I'm just going to call this VMware, um, yeah, let's just call that VMware uh, Data Store. It's as simple as that. So we've got that. We'll assign it to our VMware EVS, Enterprise Virtual Server. WFS2 is the default file system option. But this is really, really important here. This is what we're going to select. 32K provides higher throughput when transferring large files. So 32K is a default for VMware, absolutely used for a lot of environments compared to some of our competitors that only have the option of 4K. So much faster boot times, certainly faster when dealing and booting up using VLDK files. So very, very straightforward. Nothing um, untoward here at the start. So 32K it is. And then basically what I'm going to do is create a NFS export straight to the root of that file system. Again, this could be done in a virtualized environment, so we could actually use what we call virtual volumes. But today, for simplicity, I'm just going to put a NFS export straight onto that uh, root file system. So under NFS exports, I'm going to add and very simply call this data store fs file system I'm going to show snapshots and not the cache you could also cache if you have ssd type technology connected to your cluster or single node and again we're just going to put it straight onto there so data data store fs uh, is where we're going to call the um, the export name and i think the key thing about this is to keep these meaningful so if you're using multiple file systems and multiple data stores try to keep it as simple as you can. Again, local no caching accessed here. We haven't got any SSD or high performance disk, we're just using bog standard slower base tier two disk for this demo. But again, you could have a local read cache if you're booting up that machine multiple times from here. So hit OK. Data store FS is the export name. And there it is. Very, very simple. One terabyte ready to go. So how simple can it be? Well, we just go to VMware, and this is a VMware ESX server that we're uh, running and demonstrating today. And all I need to do is literally go to Home, and again, you can use uh, all the other types of features that you get with VMware, but today I'm going to keep it very straightforward. So under here, go to the root of the, file, the ESX server, and then come along to here to Configuration. And under here, there's a couple of tabs. We're going to click on Storage, and what it does, it lists, as you can see here, there's multiple VMware machines already connected to this ESX server. So all I'm going to do is go to the Add Storage tab and I have a couple of options. I could use a disk or LUN and we do support iSCSI so we can support uh, an iSCSI LUN which would be a raw file system and you format it up using a VMFS but today a majority of high performance revenue generating applications that use VMware on Blue Art will always go with NFS. And then I'm just going to give it the IP address of our of our enterprise virtual server that we created earlier on, 192.168.13.127. And if you remember our 
it's coming back here for reference and if you look at our export it was called data store fs so we go straight back to putting that on here so we call this data store fs and again i could mount this as read only but i'm just going to keep it as a read write data store and i'm just going to give it a name so data store 3 for example again this is how it will be positioned and listed when you actually create virtual machines onto that really straightforward virtual server IP address or name the folder or the NFX uh, the NFS export there it is data store FS and really simply the data store name that's going to be inside the VMware and that's it it is as simple as that it's completed already you can see how fast that is straight off the blue up and again we can browse and you can see it here we can browse onto this data store and straight away we're ready to go and it's actually created a dot snapshot directory a couple of other hidden directories change file name and one for the use for NDMP backups and we're ready to go so I can literally come straight over here to the VMware server and just create me a new virtual machine and select that data store that we've done I'll just use a typical one keep it simple and we'll call this uh, test probably makes sense like all good demonstrations and it's saying which data store do I want there's local ones here VMFS but I'm just going to scroll down here to data store 3 there it is and we've got 5.69 gigs provisioned and it's under NFS and there's one terabyte that we grabbed we didn't use them provisioning this time so let's just grab that and we choose obviously normal things you can use templates or you can choose through the guest operating systems that you're doing so you can just pick up a standard Windows 7 or down 64 bit or a Linux one doesn't really matter and basically it's telling us what it's going to take and it's asking us how large that virtual disk that that file that vmdk file is going to be on there so i could have 100 gig or whatever it requires 32 gig it really doesn't matter so let's put I don't know, 50 gig let's just grab 50 gig for this and that's going to create that and again if you notice here all the clustering support is always enabled on an nfs data store priceless really really good and so we're going to commit here and that's going to finish and that's literally created me a test virtual machine on that data store and you can see it's already used that there really really straightforward if we browse our data store guess what there it is test that's that virtual machine we've just created and if i have a look inside here you can see the vmdk there it is perfectly positioned under a 32k block file system extremely quick extremely simple okay and then based in there we can normally just boot it up and you obviously said before you can use templating if you're using all the different features and functions that VMware has to offer, the motion we support that for you as well. So, power it on, and that's actually booting up and literally straight away using that 32k file system. This is going to boot up into a, an image server for building, actually. So, away we go. That's how simple it is. And you can see it booting up there. That's the virtual environment. And literally from here, we can do some very, very clever things. We can do all the normal things, snapshots from VMware. But at the same time, we can also use the technology inside our own um, file system to do snapshots as well. So I'm going to go back to our file system here, and that's there it is, data store FS. And you can see that being working at the moment. And you can see here that under certainly under file systems, we've got our file system one. There it is being there. It's grabbed that 50, if you can see that, hardly anything, 58 gigs used. We've used that space already. It's allocated out front, it's mounted, and it's ready to go. So there you have it, VMware simply provisions using a very very simple NFS export on a Blue Arc Mercury system and again this is absolutely um, key for simplicity in terms of putting on high performance revenue generating applications. So I hope you enjoyed the video thank you very much and uh, we'll hopefully I'll speak to you all soon in the future.